We're back with another 2021 rookie profile. Is Kyle Pitts a heat seeker? Watch and find out. Brad from RotoHeat and RookieDraftGuy.com. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, I would highly encourage you to do so. It is well worth it to keep up to date with all the amazing content from the team here on YouTube. Also, hit if you are already, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Don't forget to hit a like. Let's get this thing up. Let's get to 200 likes. Come on now. Let's do it. Don't forget, check out RookieDraftGuy.com. All right. Today's question, is Kyle Pitts your top rookie tight end in this draft class? Let us know in the comments below. All right, so high school Kyle Pitts, very impressive. Uh, impressive enough that he received offers from Bama, Baylor, Connecticut, Georgia, among others, obviously uh, going with Florida in the end. Uh, the 6'5", you know, 235 pound tight end wasn't always a tight end. You know, he played quarterback. Uh, for a spell in his in his young career, but uh, in the 2018 recruiting class, he wound up being the number five tight end, uh, 162 nationally ranked. He was kind of a big deal, you know. Um, in the in this tight end class, it was pretty deep. There's quite a few options to choose from, and uh, Pitts stood out among the rest. You know, very athletic, very gifted uh, young man. And when he got to college, things went well. You know, his rookie year, uh, freshman year. Sorry freshman year you know didn't get involved very off much you know he was in three games made three catches 73 yards and a touchdown pretty quiet um but after that sophomore and junior you know really really electric 54 catches 649 yards and five touchdowns in his sophomore year and obviously we know um almost heisman trophy winning kyle trask was uh, a bit on fire this year targeted his tight end in only eight games um obviously with injuries but 43 catches, 770 yards, and 12 touchdowns. Well, it was really impressive to see, you know, Pitts kind of develop from what he was as a quarterback coming out of high school to what he became as a tight end at Florida. You know, with his athletic profile and his skill set, it really helped him kind of mature quickly uh, throughout this process. You know, he really does... Uh, look like one of those guys that could develop into a into a really high-end tight end and, and it'll be interesting to see where he goes in the nfl draft you know some folks have him projected as a as a first round pick second round pick you know at the latest um so it'll be interesting to see how that develops if you want specific games to watch that maybe help give you a better idea about kyle pitts um obviously rookiedraftguide.com we've got some of our film that we evaluated up posted attached to that site so once you uh, log on and join, you can you can get all that access. Uh, if you want some games to watch, I would encourage most of the 2020 season in which he played, if he didn't get hurt in the game, um, was pretty impressive. You know, uh, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Kentucky, I mean, those are all really good games for him. Um, the A&M game wasn't great, you know, so if you need something that's on the opposite end of that spectrum, that would be another one to look at. And, uh, you know, and, and obviously... You got 20-ish games of film to watch, you know, not counting his freshman season, but there's plenty of film to show you the kind of tight end he was in college and, and give you a glimpse into what he can become at the next level. Pitts is a mismatch nightmare, and that's really what it comes down to, is you've got an elite level talent uh, that should have no problems going in the first round in the NFL draft, and most likely in your rookie drafts is probably going to be much of the same. So, you know, when you look at how our evaluators um, rated him and the notes they put on him, uh, I, and I would encourage you guys, rookiedraftguide.com, you can see all that information in detail uh, in much more detail than I'm going to give you. Uh, the team is very high on him. You know, a lot of the guys, it's their top tight end, uh, you know, and that's why I asked you, is he your top tight end in this rookie class? You know, in, in tight end premium, He's easily going to be a, you know, a top 
probably five player. Um, when you think of Superflex, you know, he's probably going to be more like, you know, um, somewhere in the three to seven range, depending on how quarterbacks go, you know, and that, and that's really going to be the interesting thing is how, how it all plays out come your rookie draft. You know, when you, when you saw the way they used him in Florida, he was split out wide, you know, uh, he projects very nicely as a tight end that can play from the slot and be a mismatch nightmare. You know, what linebacker is going to be able to cover a six, six, uh, extremely athletic tight end uh, with ease. I mean, it's going to be hard. You know, then think about your safeties and your corners. I mean, those guys as well are not going to be very big, not going to be able to handle that type of athlete. Uh, he really does bring that dynamic to the to the pro game that you just don't get a lot of. And, and it's going to be interesting to see how he's used at the next level because he can play in the slot. He can be uh, in line. He can do some blocking as well. He's not um, he's not shabby as a blocker. He's definitely a willing blocker, and at his size, he can do that. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him. The team is excited about him. Super fast, super athletic. Uh, you know, those are the kind of comments you'd see. And, you know, and even looking into, into some of the deeper pieces of it, you saw the football IQ is there. You know, when you're used in so many different positions, that says something about a player. You know, um, his speed and elusiveness shows that he can be uh, a, a run after the catch guy, you know, a yak monster, if you will. Uh, there's just so much to like about uh, about Pitts as he moves on to the next level that as a fantasy prospect, you know, even if it takes him a year or two to get up to speed, like we saw with some of these other guys, Fant, Hawkinson, some of these other younger tight ends that the, the football IQ is there and things move quickly for those guys, you know, it's exciting to see how things go for him. And and our team is very excited about his his possibilities, you know, and let me know in the comments how you feel about him. Uh, you know, is there some area in his game that you're concerned about? You know, that that is hard for us, you know, as we watch the film, you know, watching Old Miss and, and Kentucky and some of these games, you know, you see a very dynamic tight end that can do anything. And he's very scheme versatile because of that. You know, a team that uses a blocker as well as a, as a guy that can be split out. I mean, that that is a big deal. Uh, so, you know he can really play anywhere and that's huge uh, for his prospects moving to the next level. Um, so, you know, again, make sure you, you let us know in the comments, is he your top tight end? If he's not, who is? There's plenty of options. Briar Muth, Long, you know, Bushman, if you like that type of tight end. I mean, there's, there's so many tight ends. There's tight ends galore. And, and with the way that the NFL landscape had been, there needed to be tight ends. I mean, they're just wasn't a lot of elite prospects outside of the top couple guys, you know, maybe the top three to five guys, you really did have a lot of um, missing value. And, and we're starting to see that really fill in, you know, even this last draft, Cole Komet should develop very nicely and to be one of the better tight ends in, in the league in a few years with it, with time and the right system and, and depending on what they do in Chicago there. So um it's exciting time for the tight end position. So make sure you you grab guys like this. RookieDraftGuide.com will tell you where to grab them because we do mocks and we're getting all that data compiled and we'll put it up on the site for you. Uh, let us know in the comments. This is your top tight end. Don't forget Discord, Facebook, Twitter, all the places. We're here to talk. We're here to help. We love you guys. We'll talk to you again soon.